What's going on everybody? Welcome back to game two of the 2020 College World Series. We have a huge game coming up against Vanderbilt. I hope everyone is excited for this big game. The Vanderbilt Commodores are going with Kumar Rocker, the defending national champions. Very impressive pitcher. We have our hands full for this one. There's no doubt about that one. And we're going with Brian Van Bell on the mound. Very excited about this one. Again, this is going to be a very tough matchup. It's a double elimination tournament on our side of the bracket. Eight teams in the tournament. You guys know how it works. College World Series, the winners of each side of the bracket face off in a best of three. So a win here would be big. But the way I'm looking at it, the way the bracket's set up, I think we have to beat Vanderbilt twice to get to the championship series. There's a fly ball. Just a very impressive team. The one thing I noticed about Vanderbilt's team in 2020 after winning it the year before was they definitely had to replace a lot of the key players. And so, but still very talented team. They're a fun program to follow. I'm definitely looking forward to this matchup. I, I was hoping this would happen. I figured it would. The way the bracket set up with Creighton as a four seed and Furman as a three seed. And here we go. Okay, okay, Villar. Okay, we can't be dropping balls like that in a huge game like that. Again, Austin Martin, you see right there, having a monster year. He's in contention for National Player of the Year. He was the number five overall pick by the Toronto Blue Jays. And he just went yard on us. This is not a good start. Their players are really good. Austin Martin crushing the ball. In the first inning, I wanted. I went with the curveball there. It's not Brian's best pitch. It's fastball changeup. I thought I put it in a good spot, but I guess not. Austin Martin. Man, that's tough, man. Okay, yeah, Austin Martin, really good player, interesting player, where he can play shortstop and center field, and it'll be interesting to watch. The, for this game, he's playing left field. They got him switched over to left, but definitely really good player. And obviously, you guys saw it. Okay, so we're down 1-0. I need to keep staying locked in on every batter. All these guys have pretty good ratings, having pretty good seasons. This is C.J. Rodriguez, freshman catcher, having a big year as well. Okay. Okay, not terrible. But I'm a little concerned. I just don't want to be giving up runs because runs are going to be hard to come by against Rocker. He's really good on the game. He's like a 98 overall. Goes fastball slider. Change up. A little surprised his stats aren't better, but strikeout numbers are there. If you guys don't know much about him, definitely do your research. He's a ton of fun to watch. Really good player. Had that no-hitter as a freshman, 19 strikeouts, just crazy game. And a must-win tournament game. So anyways, okay, we need to lock in here. Oh, okay, goodness. He's got that overhand delivery. Rocks about, I don't know if that was a strike, but man, it was definitely, I can definitely tell the, the high 90s fastballs coming in on me pretty fast. Okay, felt like instant replay there. So just real quick on the lineup, I went ahead and made a change. I, I, I went back to what I normally do with some more at the two spot. I backed up Del Castillo to the three. Then Terrell, everything else kind of falls in line. The only big change I made. Man, that's coming in fast. Okay, I have to, this might take a little bit of adjustment. Okay, there we go. There we go, tied it up. Oh my goodness. I really thought I got it. They throw a change, he goes, throws a change up away. High and away, and I was ready for it. Number 12 is That's tough. In. Okay, yeah, this guy's going to be tough, but we got to worry about when we're pitching. We have to limit our runs. And I've talked about Brian Van Bell for us all season long. Not only has he been effective for sure, 
and looking to be National Pitcher of the Year. But the big thing that stands out to me, okay, giving up hits here, but really consistent regardless if I play good teams. So that's why I saved him to face Vanderbilt instead of pitching him in the opener. Taylor made double play ball, and that's the way it's done. We, we went with Slade Sacconi in the first game. He was really good, so we have Chris McMahon just waiting for his next start in the next game here. Strike on the outside part of the plate with a fastball. Yeah, definitely. If we could get this win, it would be huge to go to 2 0, to be in that driver's seat. Swing and a miss. At the that would be great. Again, miss. Vanderbilt, really good team. I'm excited that we're facing a good team. These high-profile matchups are what you're looking for in the College World Series. I mean, it was cool to play Creighton in the first game. That kind of that Cinderella story. Team not expected to be there. But this is what I'm playing this game for. I want these matchups. We got to earn it against the best. He's got to be one of the highest-rated pitchers in the game. The outfielder racing after yeah. it, and one gone. So what I'm noticing is, even if I'm on these pitches, I'm not able to drive it like I normally can. Change up for a ball down and it's ball. not to take anything away from Rocker, because this guy's really good. Yeah, 97. That's coming in hot. Okay, I, that makes sense, because those ground outs in the first inning... Okay, even that high chain. Okay, man. Okay, this is a different. This is a different pitcher here. Swing and a miss on the changeup. And one thing I don't do very often, I don't take a ton of pitches. That foul caught the catch. I mean, th this at bats starting to run, but I don't take a ton of pitches in the sense I don't take a lot of strikes. If I yeah, he's good. just trying to see if those are going to be strikes or not. My goodness. Okay. Over to first base. Okay, we'll take that. I don't know what they were doing. Rocker dropped it, giving given me an opportunity here. I feel like base runners are at a premium in this game. I'd like to steal second, but it's it's not Raymond Gill's strength, so I can't, I, I'm not going to attempt it, but I wish, you know. Just I wish when we do time. get base runners, it is one of our faster guys where we can steal. Little ground Man, ball to the right I am. The throw to second in I am time just. I feel like I'm just runner. a tad bit late on the, or quite a bit late on these fastballs coming in, pretty fast because a lot of my right hand about it. We're the going. On, I'm unable to get out in front and pull it, away. and just hitting ground balls to the right side of the infield. Runner first with two out. The runner at first takes off. Okay. The junior with, the with that fielder's choice, again, with Gabe Rivera, has got decent speed. I want to take that chance, kind of see and the tying run if we can get something position. going here. Just need a base hit. Grounder to right. Over to first. That's the third out. Miami okay. Leaves a man on second. We'll we go got a runner on. Half. It's one to nothing. Couldn't do anything with it. There's a ground ball to the second baseman. Throw to oh, no. What in the world? He'll try oh, my two. goodness. He's going to go to third. He'll try to stretch it into a triple. Man. Jeez. Easy play. That's an error. Okay. Number 20 is up next. We got to lock in here somehow if we could prevent him from scoring. Get Duvall out here. Got to go home on this. Gobbles that one up. Oh, no. And a run will come in to score. I probably should have set the defense up to go infield in, but with the ground ball, I definitely I just don't want him to score. I thought it was an opportunity to get the out there. A strike on a change up. No balls and We're going to have to work strike. ourselves out of this one because now there's still nobody out and got a runner on base. And an off-speed pitch, nothing in two. The one thing about when I said earlier about not taking pitches when I'm batting, the only thing is Rocker's stamina is really high. So I don't know if we're going to be able to chase him if we try to take more pitches. But maybe he'll get gassed a little bit. 
I don't know. But okay, this is good. Good bounce back for Van Bell. Get that strikeout pop out. There's Austin Martin again. I don't want to throw that curveball in again. I'll stick with change up fastball. I don't. I just don't want to throw that. I'll throw in that same spot, but I don't want to throw that curveball again. It's a called strike. Yeah, some people thought Austin was the second best player in the draft. Kind of slid to five. That's kind of how the Major League Baseball draft works sometimes. Let's see if I get him to chase. Okay, hard hit ball, the line out. So we got out of it. We had the air there. Disappointing, down two to nothing. I don't feel great at the plate. Okay, now he's throwing sliders. Okay. We'll take it. That's one reason why you got to put balls in play. He'll square the sacrifice. There we go. And I don't do many sac sacrifice bunts, but with Tuero there at the ninth spot, I figured it was a good spot. Get to the top of the order. I'm just looking for an opportunity for a base hit. Hits are hard to come by. Okay, there we go. Tony Jenkins delivers. I was able to get out in front there and pull it to left field. That was good. Not a super hard hit ball. Okay, Freddie. Yeah, I'm taking second. I'm trying to steal second, but then they throw to third. The play seems to work out pretty well. All right, Freddie. Okay, that'll score a run. That's okay. That's what we wanted. The Man, that was close play at the plate. JP's got to get down that line. On That's one heck of a throw, I guess. All right, Del Casillo, let's go. Man. That's tough. He's trying to go high and inside. Oh, they did. I thought I checked it. Okay, two strikes here. Got to protect the plate. This inning is over. Fastball swung on a miss. Man, Strike that's three, frustrating. Outside the zone, he got me on that one. Rocker's just really good. We got a run, though. It's two to one. Not a lot of opportunities, but we got to take advantage of the opportunities we get when we get guys on base. With 14 home runs and 50 runs batted in. Rodriguez up again. Another. He's a talented freshman for Van Vanderbilt. Feels like we're going to see him quite a bit if we run into each other again. A ground ball headed for the hole. He's out of there. Number. And just real quick, and I'm just concentrating so much on trying to get this done here. I know this is a tough game, and again, I, I know we're going to probably have to beat Vanderbilt twice, but I'd rather go ahead and do it now, get this first one. The ground to the second base All right, Villar. Okay, that's the throw we need. Yeah, just once again, I want to thank everybody for jumping on. If you're just jumping on the College World Series train right now and you miss the regular season, that's okay. We're glad to have you on board. We need all the support we can get. This is a very tough game. Come on, Rockers. Really tough. I figured he would be. He's got the high-velocity fastball. Mixing in a slider and a changeup, keeping us off balance. I'm just going to keep grinding out these at-bats. Hopefully something breaks. Those are the pitches I need to lay off of. All right, Raymond Gill. Man, he, he's been so hot for us lately. Hitting home runs, driving the ball, and that's great to see. And I'm hope I was hoping he'd be able to break through. Foul ball to the right side. Way late on that fastball. Little outside. Hit on Man. the ground toward the hole. It's a diving grab. But yeah, I, I think if you guys 
And I know what, what's kind of funny is I was actually doing a little scouting before the game, watching Rockers videos on YouTube. You can check it out. There's one that it's all 44 strikeouts from the 2019 tournament. It's really cool. Just mowing guys down. So I've been doing my scouting on these guys. And so far, it's been difficult. The key, though, right now is we've got to keep it at two runs to allow our offense to get going. Just kind of get through the order, more chances. I know we're moving through the game. The key is, there we go. The key is getting these guys out. Number two. When we're pitching. Okay, Duvall had the base hit. Two so we need to Nobody make sure. On. Man, Into okay. The They've just got a lot of good hitters, and we're going to give up hits. It's single. just We've got to we've got to get out of out of just some get off the field here. Slices. Get there. And the thing with the lineup, I have Valdez on the bench, right-handed batter. I can go to him. Okay, get there, Rivera. Also have Crosby as a defensive replacement or a pinch runner. Those are the big guys off the bench. Jared Thomas, if I want to go to him, left-handed batter as well. I don't imagine him really being an option, considering I don't know who he'd go in for. But anyways... Villar's another guy. He had a huge game in the first game. He had three or four hits, so we've got it. Let maybe we get one here. Slices foul. What's difficult too? Not only the velocity with Rocker. Hold on, man. Ground ball to third. The throw so not the not only is it the velocity that's the catching me, but he's really hitting the corners in the sense some of them are strikes or some are balls, and I can't quite tell if they're really coming in the strike zone. Okay. Smoked, but right at the short and it's it's keeping me off balance enough, or even if I get contact on it, it's either a foul ball or a weekly hit. Okay, there we go. Squared that one up. I waited on that slider to come in on me. I didn't do that that bat before. And just think, that's like an advantage to kind of have two lefties right next to each other. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> I'm so, so frustrated. Okay. I, I got to shake this off though. Okay. Okay, Tony Jenkins. There we go. Okay. A couple base hits. Hit them where they ain't. Okay. That's good. Nothing nothing flashy about those two base hits. All right, Freddie. Come on now. All right, I got runners on second and third. This would be a great spot to deliver. Okay, there we go, Freddie Zamora. Huge base hit. Yeah, everybody's going to score. We're going to get the second. Nice. Oh, my goodness. It was a good pitch, but I lined it up with the opposite field, and I, I hit it solid. That was the big thing. Okay, we got a 3-2 lead. All right, Doug, see you. Let's go. There we go, base hit. I was He'll waiting on that. So he goes slider inside. I timed it just right. He was getting me earlier on those high and high and inside pitches. Just being ready for him. All right, Terrell. We have got to get Alex going here. See, that's what I was talking about on that pitch right there. It's like, I know it's going away, but... The difference between out of the zone and in the zone is hard to read. Ground ball to the left side. Throw to first. That's the third out. I feel like I got to make a move with Terrell in the lineup. I don't think he has a hit since he's been back. I feel like I need to slide him down in the order. There we go. Hard hit ball, but but Torero's got that good speed. Okay, Austin Martin once again. We've got to lock in here. Again, I'm not throwing this curveball there. 
But because it's not one of his hot zones, I have to throw it there. Okay, 0-2 count. I'd like to get a strike out here. Top of the six. Okay, moving right along. This is crucial innings coming up. There we go. Got that change up to work. What are we doing? Get out of here. What's Freddy? Freddy's got to get out of there, man. Looking like Adrian Belche and Elvis Andrews there. Ah, oh, base hit. That's Rodriguez again. The freshman is on with a single. A runner. All right, we got this lead. We definitely need to protect it. And this is one of those positions I was looking at Vanderbilt's team. The first base position was one where they were rotating different guys in during the season. And gives him a high fastball for an 0 2 count. But on this season, Keegan stepped up and has been very productive. All right, we got to get this strikeout. Oh, come on up. Maybe I should send Gino out there and argue that call. No, I can't do that. We gotta stay focused. We're fine. There we go. There we go, Brian Van Belt. Man, he's really settled down. This is what I was talking about. Very consistent. Doesn't really, even if I give up runs, it, it just feels very minimal. Even with that Austin Martin homer in the first inning, able to settle down. They've got five hits. Number six. So he's, he's just been, he, he was able to keep us close. And then we were able to get that lead, that Zamora double, that was huge. And then Del Castillo follows it up. Oh. Fastball, low. So he still has velocity, bottom of the six. Oh. He's just missing just here. Miss. I want him to throw one right down the middle. Okay, I'm hoping this is a positive sign. Maybe he's just getting a little erratic here. Okay, yeah, he was missing on all those pitches. I want to swing away. I don't want to bunt. And I can't steal with Gill, so we'll just... Nobody out here in the sixth. There we go, base hit. That, that slider on. timed it up. He'll throw to second. The junior is aboard with Threw that a slider away. We got to stay on it. All right, Villar. So we go lefties right here. We got to line them up. Oh, nice. I don't know how that got through, but we'll take it. Get down. Yes, there we go, Villar. This really consistent. Not a hard hit ball, but it gets up the middle. All right, Gates, same thing. I don't feel like I've had much success on the fastball in today's game. It feels like I've been able to line up some off-speed stuff. Like that, okay. One gone. Throw to first and throws him out of Man, that's difficult. Great execution so on that last thing we wanted there. Yeah, good play at first base. All right, let's get a base hit. If we could go up six to two, that'd be huge. Yeah, that fastball is just coming in really fast. Coming in hot. Okay, nice. There we go. I don't know what's going on with their fielding. Oh, man. We got the run, though. I'll say just a good throw. We're always trying to take first to second if we can, but we didn't able, weren't able to do it there. But man, all of a sudden we're up six to two. Things have changed in a hurry. That Zamora double was huge. We're able to get to Rocker a little bit, and really it has to be us having a high batted average with runners in scoring position because it's not happened a ton. But when they are, we're really coming through with it. And it feels like there's been about, if I had to guess, maybe four. Okay, Jack Leiter. Okay, he's really good. They have like four. feels like there's like four singles or so that have just kind of gotten through. 
Get back I feel like that's helped as well. That's two outs. Warming up in the bullpen. Okay, so right Jack went and sat down. Here go. That's two. Harrison Ray, another good player for them. Get okay, the all right, Villar, throw it. Okay, there we go. Little nervous every time now. Had that drop earlier and then threw that thing away later. Middle of seven. I got to think. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with Van Bell. Yikes. I don't trust the uh, trust the bullpen. I, I mean, we're up four. There we go. Same thing. I don't know what's going on with their fielding. They're a little shaky. That wasn't that hard hit of a ball, but it got through. Maybe they need to move Martin to shortstop. But we need to take advantage. All right, Freddie. Yeah, we're really taking advantage of that off speed, that changeup. And even the slider, we've been able to kind of time up as the games went on. Okay, this is a huge spot. No outs. There we go. That's that changeup. There we go. That's how we drive it. Adrian Del Castillo has been huge today. Send them both. Yes. That's huge. We got to get down, though. Oh, my goodness. A rare triple. And that'll knock out Rocker. That's good. 8-2 to two all of a sudden. I cannot believe with how this game is going. And it's not even that I felt really that comfortable. In there, a lot of swing and misses. Okay, now they're just falling apart. Yeah, I don't know what, what exactly happened because we could not line up those fastballs. But that's why you just got to stick with it. I felt like the more I saw him, the only thing I would say is and I didn't want to get ahead of myself while the game was going on with Rocker in there. But even pitcher, right-handed pitchers with really high ratings, really good pitchers that we've faced, I don't feel as overwhelmed and almost helpless as I do against a, a strong lefty. So, And they have a guy, an Eater, who started the first game for them. Jake Eater there, and he was actually a fourth-round pick by the Miami Marlins. So you guys will get a chance to see him follow his career if you guys are Marlins fans. Okay, base hit. Yeah, we blew this game wide open. Did not see this coming at all, especially the way the game was going for the first several innings, and now we've just blown it open. I don't want Van Bell to go any more innings than he has to. We might shut him down now and get a couple other guys in there. But Eater, so I'm just trying to think ahead now that since we have this big lead. Eater went the first game. And so they also have Mason Hickman. He's good. He's a right-handed pitcher. They probably go him with game three. And then probably go back to E. So we might face Eater if we face Vanderbilt again. Just something to like keep in mind. And we're going to go with McMahon our next start, whoever we play against. And yeah, so after this game, well, if we're, we're going to get this win. Got a huge lead, but after we win this game, we'll only be one win away from going to the championship series. Number 20 is going to lead off this inning, hitting three. Oh, they got with three homers and 24 runs back. I didn't even look at their lineup. I should have gotten Palmquist ready with all these lefties coming up. Hit right I just kind of lost sight of that. Got to stay focused on both sides here. But you know what? I will say, though, like, if we face these guys again, we'll we'll just make sure we know that we'll be we'll paying attention to that. Coach is on his way out to the mat. He needs to 
and that didn't work out. It's not worked out most of the year. Yeah, we'll just let's just get Carson in there now. I know it's not all the way ready, but and this is partly due. It's favorable matchups for Carson, but also with Van Bell. Any way to like save the starters some pitches for potentially needed them later on out of the bullpen or a maybe even a start a just to save ball. them at all it is helpful He's out there, of there we go one thing I, I've noticed so, so the schedule works where our side of the bracket goes one day the other side goes another day so there is some gap in between each game. Uh, I can turn it. So we do have some leeway there. And just with the championship, if we get to that championship series, We'll just have to see where, where we're at with our rotation. I'm not really worried about it. It'll be a best of three. All three of our guys will have options. But actually, yeah. Well, Van Bell has to start one of the first two. We can't have him not pitch one of the first two, whereas, actually, I don't, I don't know. We'll figure that out when it comes. Popped up. The other thing that day off actually really helps. Hit out to right. Maybe even more so than the starting pitching the right thing. Is there. But with Del Castillo, his stamina goes down when he starts like two two games in a row at catcher. His stamina dips down to about 80%. You know, and two gone. it's not that he's that still a good player at 80%, but... We need him at 100% as much as possible. And I want to go ahead and start him at catcher every game that we can. And if not, we'll move him to DH to save him if his percent gets low. But it's just something to think about. And it's very helpful to get the day off in between games. And we'll go Garland here. Got righties coming up. Good work by Carson. Steps in the right direction. But I want to go ahead and get Garland in there. And then also, also, I, I, you know, I know it's not a huge deal, but I just want to get Del Castillo out of there just for the for the inning. But here we go. Ninth inning. Got a huge lead. Go ahead and wrap this up. And I want to get Paige in there, too. The Villar had that error. And it gets Paige in the game in the College World Series. And Garland gives up a base hit. All right. We have a huge lead, but I don't want this to get out of hand. Oh, that was close. I'll, I'll put in another. If we have to go Federman here, I, I'll do it. I'd rather not, obviously. But I don't want this to get... I don't want anything crazy happen in this inning. Oh. Check this swing on a pitch that was really close. And also, I feel like this is important for Jake Garland here. Strike there we go. Good strikeout. A freshman in a big game. Right Not a high pressure situation, but it's still against Vanderbilt. It's still in the College World Series. And he's going to be one of our key guys oh, next year, the way it looks. So I need him to, to pitch well in these situations. The you guys saw, because I, I, I personally believe what Slade Ciccone did in 2019 at Mississippi State in the regional as a freshman. Okay, see, that's not going to help his confidence. It's not what I'm talking about. I need him to go in there and pitch well in these positions. Slade did it at Mississippi State. I felt like that really helped him. With his confidence moving ahead. So we give up a two-run homer here. Isaiah Thomas, good player. Number nine is digging in. Okay, ten to four lead. We're fine, but 
I've said this all along. It is just such a difference. And one of the reasons why I've been able to be so successful is my, my starting pitcher, the three starting pitchers are just really good. And it's such a drop off. And you guys see it here. Garland goes in. They go a couple base hits and a home run. Just glad we have those guys healthy and ready for big games because I'm glad we're not in a position where we have to start. The, okay, there we go, though. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was huge. We turned a double play to end the game. I was worried it was going to be one of these ninth innings that get out of hand. But we only give up a two-run homer. 10-4, to four, we'll take it. 10-4 to four win. Kumar Rocker able to get to him. It really struggled early. And then just a few hits here and there, and all of a sudden... We took advantage of some pitches and some people on base, and we got a huge win. That's big. So we go to 2-0. and We move into the driver's seat of our side of the bracket. I, I assume we're going to face Vanderbilt again, so I don't want to get ahead of myself. It's obviously a big win. But I feel like I know what's coming. Oh, I, I want to show you guys the box score. I feel like you guys like this, or maybe not, but just showing you guys the box score before we... Wrap things up here in Omaha. Huge performance. A lot of hits at the top of the order. we got to get Terrell going. That's a big thing that stands out to me right now. Got a couple stolen bases. Wasn't a big day for me stealing bases. And just the way the schedule works out. Who knows? Maybe we face Rocker again, but this is definitely a good... Good sign for us, and we're keeping this thing moving. You got to check out the next game. I just want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and take care.